Hey guys, it's me, Seren, back with another video from out here instead of in my office space. Uh, didn't feel like moving my computer yet again. I was using it out here and it got late and I don't feel like moving it back. So I know it's kind of like dark and there's a light directly over my head and you know, whatever. Um, today's day 24 of Hidden Figures and today's Hidden Figure is Gladys Mae West who was born in 1930 and is an American mathematician known for her contributions to the mathematical modeling of the shape of the earth and her work on the development of the Global Positioning System or GPS. West was inducted into the United States Air Force Hall of Fame in 2018. She was born Gladys Mae Brown in Didwitty County, Virginia, a rural county south of Richmond. Her family was a black American farming family in a community of sharecroppers, most of whom farmed tobacco, corn, and cotton. Wes worked in the fields before daybreak and stayed well into the afternoon. She also attended school and stood out as an exceptionally gifted student. At her high school, the top two students of each graduating class received full ride scholarships to Virginia State College, a historically black university. West graduated in 1948 with the title of valedictorian and decided to major in math due to the difficulty of the subject and the fact that it was dominated by men. While at VSC, she also pledged Alpha Kappa Alpha sorority. West graduated in 1952 with a Bachelor of Science in Mathematics. After graduating, she taught math and science for two years in Waverly, Virginia, in order to save up money for graduate school. She later returned to VSC for her Master of Mathematics degree and graduated in 1955. In 1956, West was hired to work at the Naval Proving Ground in Dahlgren, Virginia, now called the Naval Surface Warfare Center, where she was the second black woman ever hired and one of only four black employees. One of the other black employees was naval mathematician Ira West, whom she would marry in 1957. She was a programmer in the Naval Surface Warfare Center Dahlgren Division for large-scale computers and a project manager for data processing systems used in the analysis of satellite data. In the early 1960s, she participated in an award-winning astronomical study that proved the regularity of Pluto's motion relative to Neptune. West also analyzed data from satellites in order to begin to put together models of the Earth's shape. For her processing speed and accuracy, she was recommended for a commendation in 1979. And you take that, you weirdo flat earthers. This black woman said the Earth is round, so the Earth is round. From the mid-1970s through the 1980s, West programmed an IBM computer to deliver increasingly precise calculations to model the shape of the Earth. Generating an extremely accurate model required her to employ complex algorithms to account for variations in gravitational, tidal, and other forces that distort the Earth's shape. West's data ultimately became the basis for the Global Positioning System, or GPS. So basically, this black woman invented GPS. Black women gave you all the nice things you have. West worked at Dahlgren for 42 years, retiring in 1998. After retiring, she completed a PhD in public administration from Virginia Tech. Initially forgotten to history, her vital contributions to GPS technology were rediscovered in 2017 when a member of West Sorority read a short biography that she had submitted for an AKA alumni function. She noted her 42-year career at the Navy base at Dahlgren and wrote about developing the global positioning system in the 1950s and 60s. Her sorority sister had been blown away and notified the media. GPS has changed the lives of everyone forever, her sorority sister said. There is not a segment of this global society, military, auto industry, cell phone industry, social media, parents, NASA, etc., that does not utilize the global positioning system. In a 2017 message about Black History Month, Captain Godfrey Weeks, then commanding officer at the Naval Surface Warfare Center Dahlgren Division, described the integral role played by West. He said, she rose through the ranks, worked on the science that measures the size and shape of Earth, and contributed to the accuracy of GPS in the measurement of satellite data. As Gladys West started her career as a mathematician at Dahlgren in 1956, she likely had no idea that her work would impact the world for decades to come. 
West was inducted into the United States Air Force Hall of Fame in 2018, one of the highest honors bestowed by Air Force Space Command, or AFSPC. The AFSPC press release at the time called her one of the so-called hidden figures, part of the team who did computing for the U.S. military in the era before electronic systems. Like they literally used the phrase hidden figures, which is a reference to the book, which obviously is now a movie. As an alumna of Virginia State, West was nominated and won the award for Female Alumna of the Year at the Historically Black Colleges and Universities Awards in 2018. Also in 2018, West was selected by the BBC as part of their 100 Women of 2018. West is still alive and lives in King George County, Virginia, where she prefers to use a paper map over GPS. She says, I still trust my brain above all. I'm a doer, a hands-on kind of person. If I can see the road and see where it turns and see where it went, I am more sure. And that's Gladys West, a very much literal hidden figure. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. There will be lots of links and information in the description box. Food for thought as always. See you guys tomorrow with another hidden figure. Peace.